Hey everyone, welcome you all to Bioschool. This is Gayatri. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about regulation of gene expression in prokaryotes. In prokaryotes, the gene it is regulated in two ways. One is the negative control of the gene expression and another one is the positive control of gene expression. So today we will focus on the negative control of lac operon. In the previous video, we have discussed about basic concept of operon where we have discussed what is operon, why it is called as the lac operon, then about the structural genes, promoter, operator genes as well as on the repressor. In case if you missed that video, you will get the link in the description box of this video as well as on the suggested video above. Please have a look on that video too. So let's go ahead and discuss more details about negative control of lac operon. Negative regulation of lac operon. So the activity of the promoter that regulate the expression of lac operon is regulated by two proteins. The one protein it is known as the repressor protein. Repressor protein it inhibits or it prevents the binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter and this type of control or regulation is known as the negative control. Okay, In the negative control here the repressure it prevents the binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter region and in the positive control with another protein that protein is known as the catabolite activator protein or the cap protein that actually enhance the binding of RNA polymerase to promoter that is called the positive control of lac operon. In the upcoming session we will see how the cap protein it helps in the positive regulation of lac operon. So now we'll see the negative regulation of lac operon which is mediated by a protein that protein is known as the repressure. So the repressure protein it is a trans regulator protein and this protein it is encoded by a gene that one is known as the lac i gene. Okay lac i gene it produces the protein that protein is the known as the repressure protein and the repressure protein it negatively control the lac operator. Another point I want to mention over here that lac I gene expression it is not regulated. It is synthesized continuously. So we can tell that lac I gene as a constitutive genes and this repressure gene it prevent the binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter region because you know the promoter and the operator region they are overlapping with each other. If the repressor gene it will bind to the operator gene and it will bind to the operator gene as a homo tetramer. Okay, it will bind to as a homo tetramer. So when the repressor it binds the operator as a homo tetramer, so at that time RNA polymerase it cannot bind to the promoter region, thereby it inhibits the transcription process. So how it actually works, we will see in details about it. Here I want to say one thing that repressure it will synthesize the protein or repressure protein it will synthesize as a monomer then this monomer they forms the tetramer condition okay and this tetramer it will bind to the lac operator in the previous video we have discussed that lac operator has a palindrome has a two half site that contains the palindromic sequence where the dimer form of repressure it will bind and this one is the primary operator right operator one and this one is the secondary operators so when two inertia of repressure molecule it will bind to the operator one and another two it will bind to the operator two operator two or the secondary operator similar way the repressure it binds to the operator when the repressure it binds with the operator at that time RNA polymerase cannot bind to the promoter region thereby it inhibit the transcription Okay, now we'll see the inducer and induction of lac operon. You know, the lac operon, it is known as the inducible operon. Why lac operon, it is called as the inducible operon and what is the inducer that helps in induction of the lac operon system? Now we'll look into that. You know, the E. coli, it always make a very little amount of beta-galactosidase, formase and transacetylase. But, the synthesis means it will be enhanced in the presence of a molecule that is known as the lactose. When lactose is available in the media, then the synthesis of these three proteins, it will be enhanced. Otherwise, this, these three proteins are present, but they are present at very less concentration or very low concentration. 
you know bit first what will happen when the lactose it will enter into the cell by the lactose permeates so when the lactose it enter into the cell by the lactose permeates then the lactose it will be hydrolyzed by the beta galactosidase as we have discussed in our previous session the beta galactosidase it uh, cleaves the lactose into glucose and the galactose also it convert the lactose into allolactose form when there is allolactose it will be formed then this allolactose it in turn enhance the transcription of these three structural genes that is lac z lac y and lac a so here we can say that allolactose it act as an inducer okay okay let's see this is the lactose molecule if lactose it is present in the media then lactose from the outside through the lactose permeates till enter into the cell in the cell there is presence of the very less concentration of the beta galactosidase then this beta galactosidase it actually hydrolyze the lactose molecule into glucose and the galactose which is used as an energy source besides that this beta galactosidase it also forms the isomerization form of lactose that is called the allo lactose okay in the allo lactose glucose and the galactose they are joined by beta 16 glycosidic linkage so when this allo lactose it forms this will act as an inducer it will act as an what it will act as an inducer so where the inducer actually binds inducer it will binds to the repressure and as the inducer it will bind to the repressure so the repressure cannot bind with the operator thereby it will help in the transcription of three structural genes that were in the z y and a a gene and it will produce the three different type of proteins okay so here the inducer is the allo lactose and this process it is known as the induction of lac operon now we'll see how the lac operon it operates in presence and in absence of lactose molecule okay first we'll see in presence of the lactose if in the media lactose is present then beta galactosidase it will convert the lactose into isomeric form that is the allo lactose okay then this allo lactose what it will form it will act as an inducer and inducer it will bind to the repressure molecule so the, so when the inducer or allo lactose it bind to the repressure now the repressure it cannot bind to the operator region okay as the repressure it cannot bind to the operator now the rna polymerase it can binds to the promoter region is the rna polymerase it bind to the promoter region then it will help in the transcription of lac z lac y and lac a genes as it will be the transcribed and it will produce the different proteins when the lactose is, is present in the medium then the lac operon it turns on now we'll see when the lactose is absent so if in the media there is no lactose lactose if it, there is no lactose then beta galactosidase though it is present in the low concentration initially but in absence of the lactose it cannot hydrolyze the lactose into the allo lactose that means the inducer is absent so here inducer is absent remember the inducer for lac operon it is allo lactose it is not lactose but okay when the lactose is absent then inducer is absent as inducer is absent so the repressure is now free okay and now the repressure it will bind as a homotetramer form to the operator region okay is the operator region it is occupied by the repressure so rna polymerase enzyme now it cannot bind to the promoter region as the promoter and the operator regions are overlapped so at a time either the repressure or rna polymerase will bind now because of the absence of the inducer repressure it binds to the operator region so rna polymerase cannot bind to the promoter if the rna polymerase cannot bind 
then the transcription process it will be off. So the point is when in media lactose is present then lac operant turns on and that help in the catabolism of lactose. If in the media if lactose is absent then there is no need of activation of the genes which are needed for the catabolism of lactose. So in the absence of the lactose lac operant it is off. So we we'll discussed that one inducer is the allolactose. Another inducer it is also present that inducer is known as the IPTG. It is the isopropyl thiogalactoside that is the IPTG. It acts as an another inducer molecule. And when it will be enter into the cell, then transacetylase it acetyl the IPTG. So another synthetic compound that is used as a substrate. Okay, it is not the inducer, it is used as a substrate that is the X gal, which is called as the fibromo 4 chloro 3 indole beta D galactoside. Okay, this one is the structure of the X gal, which is called as the fibromo 4 chloro 3 indole beta D galactoside. So this one it is act as a substrate. When the beta galactoside is, it will act on the X gal. It will form the galactoside as well as it will form fibromo 4 chloro 3 indole. Okay, 3 indole. And this one, when it will be formed spontaneously, it will be oxidized and dimerized. As it is oxidized and dimerized, then it will give intense blue color so when the x gal it is hydrolyzed by beta galactosidase it produce the blue color so this one it is used to know whether the beta galactosidase it is present in the medium or not thank you all for joining me today and watching this video till the end hope now you have a clear idea about negative regulation of lac operon and why it is called the inducible operon what are the inducer of lac operon and how the X gal that help in detection of the presence or absence of beta galactosidase in the medium. Still if you have any confusion then please put a comment in the comment section down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always if you like this video then please give a thumbs up. Do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel.